Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and today's video is going to be how to downgrade your um, iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch to iOS 4.3.3 so you can use the jailbreakme.com. Now, this is only going to work if you have, um, sorry guys, if you have your SHSH blobs saved or if you are running on an A4 processor, you will be able to downgrade, however, you will be tethered. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using my guinea pig device, my iPad first gen. I got this about a week and a half ago. Um, it's not as good as my iPad 2, obviously, but I got this for like 130 bucks off of Craigslist. Uh, I knew the guy. He was like, yeah, I've sold you stuff before. Gave it to me for 130 and I fell in love with it. Mainly because it's still a solid device for 130 bucks. You really can't go wrong. Um, yeah, so let's get started. The uh, program you're going to need is um, obviously iTunes. You're also going to need Tiny Umbrella and you're going to need your respected firmware that you want to downgrade to. So my device, I'll just turn it over to the iPad now. My iPad is running, let's see, about, the iPad is running iOS 5.0, you can see, and I'm going to be downgrading it to 4.3.3. So and basically how we're going to do this is, let's get back to the computer, and we're going to open up the program. Where is it? Um, tiny umbrella right here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna see a thing over here that says start TSS server. Um, make sure that this is the only way it will work for the um, iPad 2 actually, is if you have a um, your SHSH saved. So if you don't know if it's saved, go to your device and you're gonna wanna go to um, save SHSH and it's gonna bring up a list of everything that it was able to save. So as you see, I have 4.3.4 .4, saved, 5.0, 5, 5 and then for the sake of this, I'm going to go request SHSH from Cydia. Save SHSH one more time. And as you see, 4.3.3 popped up. So um, I have 4.3.3, 4.3.4, 5.0, 5.0, all betas, all saved, and meaning I have the ability to downgrade. So how this is going to happen is very simple. The first step is you're going to hit save TS or start TSS server. Now, once it's running, you can just go ahead and minimize this. This will work on Windows 2, guys. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our device into a DFU mode. You do not need to put it into a Pwn DFU. It just needs to go into a DFU mode. So let's go ahead and put this in. Power it off. And now we'll hold it a couple more seconds. Now let go of the power button, but just continue holding the home button. You can see me. What's up, guys? All right. So iTunes is not open, but we're going to go ahead and open up iTunes now. All right, so as you can see, we get the much focus. Come on, here you go. You can focus. Here you go. iTunes has detected a iPad in recovery mode. Going to go ahead and hit OK. Now we're going to go and option restore, and making sure that the whole time you're um, where is it? Oh, I'm sorry. That your ah, sorry guys. Tiny umbrella is running in the background, or you will error out. Um, obviously backing up a firmware on this software and going to an older one, the backup will not count mainly because, like I said, it's older and iTunes will say it's not supported. Not much you can do about that. Next step is going to be finding your firmware. So mine's under videos on my external, then firmware, then iPad 4.3.3. Gonna hit next. It's gonna say iTunes will erase and restore iPad. Gonna hit restore. Making sure, like I said again, that this, your SHSH is saved and you have the TSS server running in the back. If you have all that, we should be ready to go. And it's going to start extracting software. Verifying iPad with Restore. Preparing iPad for Restore. Alright, so now it is preparing iPad for Restore. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to stop the video. My uh, hand bumped the camera and it just stopped. And as you see, it is now downgrading to iOS 4.3.3. And no help to uh, any pwnage or anything, just using a saved SHSH. Really, uh, really helpful. And while you're doing that, you're going to want to make sure that you have request SHSH saved, save all available. I like to uncheck this when I'm restoring. Um, so as you see, if you need a clean restore from Apple, uncheck this box. Override existing SHSH, you can do that. And yeah, like I said, it was 
working fine as you can see we're doing all the little uh all the progress is going on in this little box right here so guys that's pretty much it i'm just going to pause the video and i will come back just to show you the uh, final result and that in fact did work successfully all right guys so as you see the ipad has rebooted and just slide to unlock the ipad ah sorry guys so this is a tripod tripod rather and we're going to go to settings um about and as you can see, we are successfully running back on 4.3.3. We never really had to start Red Snow. We never really had to do anything other than just start your uh, TSS server with Tiny Umbrella. You can now stop that. And as you can see, the device is connected. and Everything is successful. Um, so I hope this was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be sure to um, answer them as my best of my ability. Once again, you need your SSH, SHSH server saved if or blob saved if you are going to be downgrading and you do not want to boot tethered. For the iPhone, I for the iPad 2, if you do not have your SHSH saved and you are on 4.3.4 iOS 5, I am sorry, but you cannot go back down and jailbreak. There is no way to uh, even boot tethered with this because there is no boot ROM exploit. So guys, I hope this helped. And for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace. I'm sorry for my crook.